Oh, how the turntables. We're back at it again, part three of the Wolf Ridge tutorial series. I bet you're all surprised because it's not like three months now between videos. Uh, yes, hello, I'm back again. Part three, my name is official underscore Mr. Bob 101, lead scripter for Wolf Ridge Bike Park, developer Ziggs Parks, you should know this by now. Um, and yeah, welcome back to tutorial season. Today we're gonna be doing some, what are we doing today? White orange lift, or do, do I, I forgot orange is before white, orange lift today, which is right there. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, since last time, not many additions really. Um, some minor improvements, you know, around the map. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, before we keep going here, I just want to quickly um, just set something here. All right, sweet, sweetness. Let's do this. So, orange lift, which comes after purple, you unlock, I think, at level 12 or 13. Um, orange lift is a lot harder than um, purple. It has... I think only one blue. Yeah, one blue. We can actually take a look here. I know this. Look, look at this fancy, fancy trail map. It's like smooth and stuff as part of Wolfridge 2.0. So okay, so these are a bunch of double blacks that come off the top of Mount Mammoth, the top of white, and they 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 come down into orange, which is right here. I wish there was a good camera view, but it doesn't seem that there is. Um, but so yeah, I think the most popular thing is the four horsemen into time. And you have Achilles over on the side, and then this is the blue, which is even flow, which kind of cuts down towards, you know, the blue terrain and stuff, Upper Vegas. Um, and there's that junction in the middle. And then, of course, I think another very popular trail, which we will do today, uh, is uh, Kickin' Camaro, which is this really fun jump trail over on the side. So we will be doing that today. And then, of course, you can get to regular crow line, the top of the normal crow lines there, and then, you know, of course, upper crow lines up that way. Um, I was thinking we could do a warm up, though, on purple, but actually, you know what? No, we'll just, we're just going to do every orange trail today, so we'll go straight into it. We'll do the blue as the warm up. Um, yeah, uh, orange is a cool lift. It's also got the kind of cool shack up here. You see it in the intro credits if you watch more than a little bit. And I, I just realized I like barely have been up here since Wolf Ridge 2.0. I kind of ignore orange quite a bit, honestly, unless I'm coming down one of these trails. And damn, it looks good with these graphics. I really loving what I see here. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So over here, there's no blues. It's just blacks and double blacks. Achilles, four horsemen. There's some secret trails over there, which I will show you. And then there's some really nice trails there that not a lot of people do. And then this is where even flow starts. And then there's also a pro line there that not a lot of people do. There's there's a couple things. We'll we'll uh, I'll show you all of them. Uh, and then there's also this swallowed by the sea, which not a lot of people ride surprisingly. So uh, if you like kind of wooden features and stuff, I would highly suggest it. It's, it's just kind of off, you know, a little bit, so not as a lot of people do it. Even flow, only blue. Um, yes. So let's do that. Let's jump into it. Um, what a terrible way to start this video, right? Like, <laughs> just shot myself off the trail here. So, so uh, someone commented this last time. Um, uh, yes, I, I'm aware that I suck at biking and speaking. This is a it's a problem. We're working. We're we're practicing it. We're practicing it. So maybe today I'll do better. Uh, oh yeah. And you can also access this trail off that little crosscut down there, which can be basically accessed by any of those top trails. Um, so that's kind of nice. Ooh, what's right here? This is oh Elk Blood of Heart. That's a fun trail. Highly suggest it. I just realized I like rarely do this trail. Holy smokes, it's a good one though. And this just takes you straight in Upper Vegas, which is a classic. Oh crap. Um, so yeah, I hope you all are having a great day. I know I'm supposed to be giving you tips, which, you know what, my tip today is just, you know, go with the flow. 
as you can see here, I'm, I'm actually not using a lot of tilt on this trail for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, go with the flow. Just kind of enjoy, enjoy life. We're going to do like clockwork because you know what? We're like clockwork. We're enjoying our lives. Um, no, but in all seriousness, just don't spam. I like, I'm using brake more than I am accelerate. I only really accelerate when I'm on a flat surface and then the rest is kind of, all right, we'll do this, this trail. Oh shoot, this is the grass trail, I forgot. That's what, as the name implies. Oh crap, this is terrible. It's not, it's not a real trail. All right, we'll come out right here. Um, you can, this is the cross cut at this point, so we'll, we'll just keep going on Achilles. It's a good time trial trail for practice. Ooh. So yeah, um, I think this is the Vagabond, by the way. Last video I, I said I would put it in the comments. I, I forgot to check. I believe this is the Vagabond. Um, but I've, I've noticed that it's, if you get the trail, if you get the bike a little bit bouncy, you can really kind of just ride everything and like kind of bump around on stuff. Like I'm not making any really aggressive movements. I kind of just float. That was bad. I'm kind of just flowing, and uh, I just made it down the mountain, actually. Basically, one piece pretty quickly. So, uh, I would say a tip is, like, maybe do a little bit bouncier if that's that's your thing. And uh, kind of just let the bike, like, follow the train. You don't you don't necessarily have to do tons of invasive, like, especially on a trail like even flow. You don't have to do tons of corrective maneuvers. Now, I do not, I love, I love the look, but we're not going to do sunlight right now. Okay, so we'll, we'll go over there after. We're not doing crow line because that will definitely be probably a white trail thing and everyone knows crow line, so no, we're not doing that. Four horsemen we'll do after we, we do a black. We're working our way up. And then past here, it's just blacks, double blacks. We'll do, uh, no, we'll do the next one. Jiggity, jiggity, jiggity's good. Ah! Uh, Actually, no, we can do a double block down here. Jiggity's a good trail, but, um... Uh, that's Achilles. Yeah, no, since we have a lot of trails to cover, we'll, we'll go straight to the hidden trail. How about that? So, hidden trail is over in this little rock section here. You just kind of have to scooch in. Just cut through here. And then you'll see it right here. We've got Megalomania and, uh... He's a loss. We'll do Megalomania. Why not? You know, get some get some one train in here. This is uh, pretty cool. Uh, keep. Oh, oh. This is the tip. When you're on a bridge like this, keep your front tire up so it does not get caught. You guys need some just a little bit of distance here to get over that little jump. And uh, yeah, try not to do tons of steering when you're on something like this because you don't want to fall off. But this is. Actually, I have not done this trail in ages. This is a fun one, too. This is, I think, in the thumbnail, if I'm pretty sure. Or at least the shot is. It's a really pretty, though. Here, let's, let's stop and admire for a second. And really, like, I can't believe I'm saying this in a Roblox game, but just look at that. Isn't that so cool? We got fog in the valley, clear up top. I think, I think that's one of the coolest things about atmosphere is that you can have it clear up there and then foggy in the valley. I think that's... One of the cool things we have with our new- Oh no! No! I was not paying attention and I fell. Alright, we'll act like that never happened. How about that? Uh, crap. That was just a terrible example of trying to act like nothing happened. Okay. Okay. And tilt, tilt. Okay. So yeah, I'm not even pressing W at all, except when I get up here. Okay, tilt, 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 and you'll fall to the side. Then again, go with the flow. Um, because I don't really need W. I only need the brake key, and then gravity will do its work. Um, oh, crap. Oh, ho, ho. that was not good. <laughs> Did I get a smoothing, smooth landing bonus on that? I really hope I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I'm ashamed of my code. That's oh, a fun trail though, it goes through the tunnel, it's really flowy. Yeah, do, 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 do Megalvania, then you get to ride this fun stuff. And there we go, wee hee. This is actually a really fun trail, holy sh smokes. I wish I knew, like, I wish I remembered this. Oh yeah, this is, this is definitely one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, I'm not actually holding the J key to keep my wheel up. Um, because I was moving fast enough. It's more of like if you're moving slow. Holy smokes, dude, I am flying. Woo! 
And there we go. It spits us out right there. So that's Megalovania. That's actually a hidden trail. Not a lot of people know about it. Um, as far as I'm aware, it goes up there. So yeah, definitely do that trail. It's a lot of fun, as you can tell. Really, I mean, it, technically it's technical, but it, it had some really nice flow to it, honestly. Um, damn, that just made my day right there, guys. Really glad I remembered that, that, that trail. There's always like hidden stuff in this game that I completely forget. There have been instances where like Wolf and Crow will add stuff, and I'm just like not really aware. I've been really busy recently, and so. Uh, and then I'll like come on, I'll be like, damn, that's sick. And I also, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I have to say this. It is just so cool how it's like clear as day up here and then you see the fog in the valley. I just think that's so cool. All right, and with that, we're gonna do the four horsemen in the time. That's like the most popular trail off this and then we'll go to the other side. So with this trail, you just gotta be aware that there's some narrow sec sections when you cross over. Um, like, um, so like on wood instances like that, when you're going straight, just try not to tap your directional keys because if you're moving in one direction, your wheel will try to like straighten out. This is true not only in Roblox but like in actual real life, your your wheel will try to straighten out when you're when it's only tilted slightly. Um, and so like as you can see, it, it's kind of like tilting back forward. So when you're going on a wooden feature, or a bridge, or a berm, or something, or actually maybe not a berm because that's that's angled but in general your tire is gonna you know flatten about it flatten out or straighten out so by doing like a really like aggressive correction it's it actually might throw you the opposite direction the wrong way and that's how a lot of spinning out happens is is instead of people letting the tire kind of flatten out they 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 will like press hard on their key and then it will go the center and then go, you know, across. Oh, by this way, I think this is, uh, is this? No, this isn't supremacy. Um, but yeah, it will, it, that will cause the spinning because their wheel will shoot in the opposite direction. Think about that, a really sh sudden change in front tire movement that's going to cause you to spin out. Um, I don't know why. It feels like there's like a physics re update recently because it just feels a lot smoother. I don't know. Whip it. Oh, that was actually kind of a sick whip right there. If you guys were wondering, I was pressing the U and K keys to do that. Um, that's actually kind of how you whip it. So that's my next tip for you today, whipping the U and K. Um, here, I'll try to demonstrate it again. It is quite difficult. It takes a lot of time. Our send, our, our send wizard in house, which is in our Discord, um, he's an absolute legend at doing this. But, you know, I'm still up see like that. You See, you want to tilt sideways and into it so you can kind of turn um so here let me give you a better example up so i didn't have enough height there but you can see i was kind of tilting to the left so that's kind of how you whip it so it would be your tilt forward and sideways keys um we'll go in here i like this, this area um this is yinglet um off of blue Never fully finished the train. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find a good area to like demonstrate whips because um, they are really important. I think it's a good thing for people to just know. Woo! I just kind of crapped myself there. Honestly, if you're on the Discord, I would ask our Sun Wizard in house. Um, you'll see his, his role says Sun Wizard about how to do it because I'm still working on it because um, I'm really terrible. Again, this just use a lot, utilizes actual physics, so it, you can kind of manipulate it however you want. I'm sure there are plenty of other really sick trips. And I've seen some corkscrews. I've seen some really cool stuff. It, it just requires a crap ton of patience, a lot of practice. Um, before we go back up orange, let's see if I can... This is our, our new train park over here. Uh, I want to see if I can throw... Actually, we'll climb up here. How about that? See if I can do a whip off this. Because I, I have seen people do some whips over here. Um, so this is just right in the base area. No lift needed. So you can practice your, your tricks. Let's see the, the bike the coyote approves. Alright, let's see if we can do one here. Actually, I'm going to tilting back. See what that... See what that does. Oh, I just did not have enough speed there. Oh, that was like a corkscrew. So if you tilt back into the side, that's where you're kind of getting like the corkscrew down, and then four would be your, your whip. 
Um, because again, it, like like in real life, actually technically doing a backflip is easier, and you can tell in Wolf Ridge it's significantly easier because you have more momentum going into it, and it's just like less for rotation. But um, yeah, if you want to do a corkscrew, but I still really want to whip it, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm just not doing a great job. Let's go back to orange. <laughs> um, all right, so now. We did time the four horsemen, so now we'll go over and do sweat and bullets and stuff like that. Um, wearing and tearing is a fun trail. Pro line, no way. And feed my Frankenstein is a fun trail as well. Um, we're not going to do it right now, but it has some really cool berms and, and stuff. It kind of spits you out in a similar area but it, it's nice and twisty and I, I like it so you're gonna go past the extreme only sign sweat and bullets is a cool one um we're doing kick and camaro um sweat and bullets is more technical kick and camaro is definitely more flowy more jump line so uh as you can see it's this high speed jump trail so you know you'll see it now let's do it here we go uh you need a lot of speed on this trail because the jumps are oh i kind of just whipped it a little bit like sort of um you need a lot of speed on these elements they're big jumps oh, i just spun out crap i should have tilted you see like these types of turns you want to tilt or else you'll spin out so let me actually i'll get a redo here back up use my ass key um but yeah the the jumps on this trail just get exponent they just keep getting bigger so definitely Definitely need to use your tilt keys a lot on this, and, uh, oh crap, what am I, I, I'm not having a good run so far. Um, it's a high speed jump trail, so it's hard to concentrate and talk at the same time. Um, and so, yeah, tilt keys are crucial on this, this trail, especially because you don't want to land on your back, which is a fail, and then you won't get your precious, uh, points. Woohoo. Oh, I am just not getting enough speed. Also, yeah, you need a high speed bike. Like if you do not have a fast and like four speed four bike and in full gear, you're not gonna clear this trail. It's just not gonna happen. Alright, this is my quiz time. Before we hit this curve right here, here's my quiz my quiz question for you. What do you do? How do you how do you do this? It could be five seconds to think. Get your answer. What do you do to do this? Alright, answer is tilt and let gravity do the work. You just kind of tilt up here. Gravity will do the work. They'll it'll spin you around. All right, you need a ton of speed coming up here. Oh, and I just didn't even have enough speed. Nice. And you need oh crap, crap, crap. I am having a terrible run on kicking Camaro today. I, I we're gonna do a redo after this. We're gonna do the trail again because I never do that. But this is really bad. I'm not gonna talk though the next time I go around. But then yeah, here you need a ton of speed to clear this, and then keep going. You'll get that again. Nice little whip it. And woohoo! And I just shot myself off the trail. Anyways, it, it, it finishes down there, and then you've got ironworks and stuff, or you can cut across down to the blue lift. But we're going to do that again. I'm not going to talk this time. This will be the last trail, so you can just kind of watch and learn from the not so pro himself. Alright, high speed. And then once I get up here, I'm going to stop talking. Maybe I, should, maybe I should add some music in. So you can enjoy it. How about that? <laughs> Actually, I don't want to get caught in the Terrible start. Okay. We're actually going to redo that because um, I was thinking about music choices. <laughs> Alright, this time I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I'm not thinking. High gear. That's it. I just have not
<laughs> Dude, I didn't back up enough. I, I should have just sent it. I hesitated and died. And now we're back on crow line. Dude, that was terrible. I'm so sorry, everyone. I've let you down. That was not good. Ugh, oh, God. I'm so ashamed now. Kicking Camaro kicked my ass. Pardon my French, but that is a fact. That's why they call it kicking Camaro. Kicks your ass. Also, I'm just having a terrible day. Oh, God. Uh, Crow, this part of Crow Line is my favorite. I like like this part. We'll, we'll do it. Woo! Oh, God. <laughs> Why did that even do a front flip? So, if you're wondering what Mr. Bob is after 10 hours of work, this is Mr. Bob after 10 hours of work. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Oh, crap. The lights are blinding when it's not dark enough yet. Crowline is one of the trails with full lighting, so if you don't want to put your headlight on, if you're one of those warriors, then this trail is for you. I love it too, because like I've seen people with just blue lift go like, yeah, I can do Crowline, dude. I've done Crowline, and I have like just blue lift unlocked, and they just don't realize that the trail is just like the bottom part is like the crappiest part, and barely any of the trails, the bottom, accessible off the blue lift. So like. <laughs> It's funny, like, I was like, oh yeah, you know, there's upper crow line. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, upper crow line, dude. Or like, well, how long is that? I'm like, well, there's actually middle crow line before upper crow line, so there's that too, right? Ooh. Woo! Oh, I am having a terrible, terrible day, and this is just straight up not crow line, but you know what? Whatever. We'll get some nice flips in here. And that was just not even landing zone. Sick! Alright guys, thanks my dudes for watching, let's do another cool little, let's see if we can get a good view from green, oh yeah, we can get a good view from green, we'll go on top of the chart. Oh, how dare they, can I go up here? Yes, I can. Alright, let's look down into the, the night sky, I mean the foggy, hazy, oh there's the sunset, look at that beauty with the gondola, you'll love to see it, you'll love to see it, and then you have Skyfair on the back, which... Skyfarer, which will also kick your ass. Next time, next tutorial, white lift. Be there, be square. It's the biggest train unlock ever because you get all of that. And then green lift is after, but green lift you can, you can technically get from white lift. It's just like a little bit further. And look at that sun go down. Look at beautiful. It's beautiful. And you can see the stars coming out. Anyways, that's it for today, everyone. Thanks, yeah, y'all, for uh, tuning in. Appreciate it as always. If you like this video, you can like it, dislike it, like it. Um, if you're on Wolfridge and you want to help support our work, you can donate or buy the Crow Cab Courier in the bike shop or buy a private server. Any of those, we really appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you all so much again for watching and have a lovely night.